Maruf, uh, when Kuresh Zurabi walked into the studio, he said, uh, what's the point? We are going to have this debate uh, once again. Now, Leela Punappa, what can be done to make sure that debates like these discussing what we need to do in a way end? Well, it is, uh, 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 let's say that uh, this, uh, I talked about integrating security into all aspects of our national functioning, which means not that you get paranoid about a situation, but even when there is no crisis. Well, why, do, why doesn't Times now have debates on security in Mumbai when there is no bomb blast? Uh, or why not do a monitoring Absolutely. Absolutely. of what are the systems that have been put in place from time to time uh, in order to make our citizens uh, feel more secure, whether it's in our mega cities or in our smaller towns, because Absolutely. this vulnerability exists all over. It certainly starts at the policy level and the need for the political will to provide the resources and to ensure that these resources are used effectively. It isn't just a question of what in governmental terms is called a utilization certificate for police modernization that Maruf very rightly referred to. Right. But in terms of what is the quality of the people you are getting in, what is their level of training, what is their equipment. There have been issues with regard to the equipment that is made available to the police even after 26-11. So let's not uh, uh, sort of underestimate the extent of detail that is required. Equally intelligence. Now I think in all fairness to our intelligence agencies, we should recognize that their successes are never publicized. If they are able to uh, break a, a, a particular gang or something of that sort, typically it is kept quiet and obviously the failures hit the headlines. Uh, that's, that's quite normal. But uh, intelligence too requires to be strengthened in order to penetrate the groups, in order to get the kind of human intelligence right. that is required. So that uh, the prevention of the kind of attacks that we have seen uh, is, is possible. Now, right. Having said that, let me also say, uh, I think Mr. Joshi mentioned that we've come to accept terrorism as, uh, as a normal phenomenon. It's part of everyday... Uh, but that's no, true. I, uh, 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 but, uh, Ms. Ponapa, Ms. Ponapa, that's Ponapa true. I think he meant more... Uh, globally, or globally or nationally, we have this problem. Our legal systems need to be strengthened and the legal action has to be taken all the way down to the line to the implementation so of finally of convictions and such like. Finally, it the also, it also boils down to stricter terror laws, Ms. Terrorist Ponapa. laws. We were, we were losing ours. And above all, the debate on security must be depoliticized. This is simply... An, uh, it must no be depoliticized is, and is, on uh, that point, is, I want is to... acceptable for a political debate on national security. The debate must be depoliticized. Perhaps something that Kiran Kher and Bachi Karkaria finally would like to comment on as we want to wrap up this debate. Uh, Kiran, starting with you. Um, the reason why we politicize it so that the government moves and does something about it. Because I belong to a political party, what I say becomes politicized. It is not that at all. We put pressure on the government to be able to move, put into place these systems. The government should not politicize them. If you politicize it, your agencies, your uh, security agencies get weakened. You need to strengthen those security agencies and give them a fair free hand to be able to give us the security we require. Right, Kiran, why, why should we politicize it? What are we getting out of it? Bachi Karkaria, you heard what uh, Kiran Kher said here. At least on this point, uh, yeah. would you want to agree with her? Yes, I would agree with her and I think that, you know, we really need to, you know, we use this word political will very loosely for anything, whether it's maternal mortality or, 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 or terrorist attacks. I think we really need to sit down and deconstruct political will and I think maybe that's where you have a debate or maybe the print media can do this, that exactly what does political will constitute. Let's put it down as one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll really understand how political will can be brought to put its full force behind solving a major issue like terrorism and many other issues that right. we face. Because political will is the one omnibus political. usual suspect which is thrown onto the, onto the uh, platform every time anything happens. So let's just really ask this question that how do we deconstruct political will? Tell us in five points what exactly needs to be done. 
and then get demand answers it and can be done in one point on those wish five it was that simple miss karkaria wish it was that simple bachi uh, but to our panel this of evening on the news are on the news hour to our panel this evening thank you so much for joining us really at the end of the day what each mumbai kar and probably every indian wants is that let's not politicize the debate let's not have politics on a day after mumbai or any other part of the country god forbid is attacked by terrorists and at the end we hope here on the news hour that we don't have to discuss the issue of terrorism or india being struck again in the near future or ever again thank you so much for joining us this evening good, good night bye.